Before beginning the installation, read the installation and care instructions thoroughly for important safety information, required tools and materials, and to identify all the parts of your shower door. Proper fit and function of sliding door depends on accurate measurements of the top and bottom tracks, so be sure to measure all components carefully before cutting. Begin by measuring the distance between the two walls of the bath or shower. This will be referred to as distance A in the installation instructions. Write down distance A. Now subtract a quarter inch from distance A. Make a mark on the bottom track to match this distance. Cut the bottom track at this mark. File away any burrs or rough edges. Center the track on the bath or shower base ledge. The face or taller side of the track should be on the outside. You may need to file the track to match the corners where the walls and the ledge meet. If the ledge is uneven, refer to the installation guide to make the proper adjustments. Make sure the track is centered, then secure it in place using masking tape. Mark the track location at each end of the track. Next, you'll put the wall jams in position. It's important that the bottom track and the wall jams sit flat against the ledge and the wall. If needed, file the bottom of the wall jam to achieve a flat fit. Use a coin to match the corner radius of the shower to the wall jam. When you've achieved a flat fit, position the wall jams over the bottom track. Make sure both wall jams are plumb and the same distance from the front of the ledge. Tape the wall jams in place. Then mark the screw locations or drill a pilot hole at each spot. Repeat the process for the other wall jam. Now remove the wall jams and drill a 5 16th inch hole at each of the marks. Insert a wall anchor into each hole. Before continuing, remove the bottom track and clean up any debris left behind from the drilling. Apply silicone sealant along the length of the underside of the bottom track. Then, use the mark you made earlier to reposition the bottom track at the same spot on the ledge. Measure and mark the center of the bottom track. Apply silicone sealant to the underside of the center guide, then install the guide to the center of the bottom track. When installing the center guide, make sure the ridge on the underside fits into the slot on the bottom track. Next, you'll want to line up the wall jams with the anchors. Secure the wall jams with the screws, then install caps over each of the screws. Now you need to install the seal to the bottom track. Measure the distance between the inside of the wall jams. In the installation instructions, this dimension is referred to as distance C. On the seal, mark distance C and cut the seal at that mark. Press the seal into place along the bottom track. Make sure the seal is oriented correctly with the lip going over the front of the bottom track. To make sure silicone sealant adheres properly, tape the center guide along its length and tape down the bottom track and seal. Measure the distance between the walls above the wall jams. This dimension is referred to as distance D in the installation instructions. Write down distance D. Subtract 1 32nd of an inch from distance D. Then mark the distance on the top track and carefully cut the track at the mark. Position the top track on top of the wall jams. Now you'll need to install the bumpers. To install the top bumpers, insert them into the top track near the wall jams and twist them into place over the rails. Then slide the bumpers against the wall jams. For the bottom bumpers, first identify the left and right bumpers. Orient the bumpers so that the number faces the wall. Then install the bumpers against the wall jams. It is important the bumpers are installed correctly, so make sure that all four bumpers are properly seated before continuing the installation. To install the doors, first slide the gasket over the top of the glass panel. Align the gasket with a mounting hole in the glass. Then, press the hanger bracket over the gasket and align it with the mounting hole as well. Thread the bolt into the barrel nut through the mounting hole. Tighten the bolt and barrel nut while pressing down on the hanger bracket until it is secure. Repeat this process for the other hanger brackets. On the inside panel, make sure you assemble the rollers on the side of the panel that is opposite the label. Assemble the rollers to the middle hole of the hanger brackets. On the outside panel, the rollers should be installed on the same side as the label. Assemble the rollers to the middle hole of the hanger brackets. Lift the inside panel into place with the rollers on the inside rail of the top track so the label faces out. Align the door so the center guide is inside the track on the bottom of the panel and test the door for smooth operation. 
Lift the outside panel into place with the rollers on the outside rail of the top track with the label facing out. Align the door so the seal is inside the track on the bottom of the panel. Then test the door for smooth operation. If either panel needs to be adjusted, remove the panel and move the rollers to a higher or lower hole in the bracket. Assemble the towel bar by pressing the brackets into the ends of the bar. Then, insert the bushings into the holes on the door panel and secure the towel bar with the screws. Repeat the process for the other towel bar. Snap the covers over the bushings to cover the screws. The final step in the process is to seal the wall jams in the bottom track. Apply a bead of silicone sealant along the entire outside length of the bottom track. Then apply silicone sealant along the inside and outside of both wall jams. Finally, apply silicone sealant to the joint where the wall jams in the bottom track meet. After cleanup, your installation is complete.